this week on Ultimate Outdoor Adventures TV. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's show. This week we have a couple great hunts coming your way. First, we're gonna be joining Kurt out in Western North Dakota as he goes after a North Dakota antelope. Now this is a pretty tough tag to draw here. You're gonna look at seven to 10 years before you can get drawn for an antelope tag. So we are pretty excited about heading out west. Now in the second half of the show, we're gonna be teaming up with good friend of ours and team member Craig Went and his daughter Cassidy as she goes after a beautiful buck during the rifle season. So stay tuned for some great action coming your way. jumped out at us so we're headed back down uh, we got a landowner that's been kind enough to let us on this place so we're gonna go down there and see what we can find draw there, maybe and try and come over. I don't know if we'll see him over the top, but uh, we got out not too long ago. Um, it's opening day in North Dakota. Um, came out a couple weeks ago, spent a few days out looking, uh, trying to learn the lay of the property and look for some, some critters. Uh, numbers were good. Qualities not real impressed, but uh, we do got a good one spotted, we think. We're quite a ways away. We're probably three quarters of a mile from him. So, he's, uh, he's worth taking a second look at. So, actually there's a little, some hilly country in front of us. We're gonna skirt that, try and get up on top, move in within better range here and get the spotter on top of him and see what he looks like. But uh, yeah, he's definitely worth a look, a second look. A better look. Get a little walk here, but not too bad. Um, well, the goat we spotted, we may have spotted him circling. We don't know. He looked okay. Now we're in a bad spot. We're upwind of them. Just saw a fair herd of them. But we're gonna have to try and circle here and get on top and get a spotter on them. Don't know, it all happened too quick. They're en route to the fur 
first buck, and I don't think this is the same buck, but I, I'm afraid we're gonna come right on top of these goats. There's some in between us, but there's a buck up there about 200 yards. This early in the game, we gotta get a good look at him before we pull the trigger, so we're gonna try and creep up to this ridge here, and hopefully the does aren't in between us. Get a look at him. He's pretty good, I think. Got good hooks on top, mass looks good. They're moving north, we're gonna lose them now. Yeah, they're down in a low spot. This buck out in front of us, there's a wide buck in front of us with not a lot on them, but those, that other group on the fence is going north. I think we should get up to these hills up here and try and come in from the west on them, John. I think we should go though. We're gonna get, we might get busted here by this one. comes closer. Well, I'm just wondering if we should get up here right now. Get up, go down that, that buck will just right up to sit the on the edge. We'll just wait for him. If we got to get up, we can get up and go around him. You think we should get up right up to that next little knoll if we go down that? Or just oh, go all right? the way over? Well, we could. Yeah, we could back drop. We gotta have to go. Just right now in here. Or you just, you tell me. Oh, no, that's a good idea. Back, come up on that. Well, hell, we're in right shooting range from there almost. Did you grab that cup for here? He sees us. I'm on him. Hey. So as you can see, Kurt hit this buck just a little bit far back, but it was a good hit. We could have left him there and he would have expired, but we wanted to get another round in him. So what we did is split up. Kurt stayed on the antelope, so just in case if he stood up, he could put another round in him. And then I ended up moving my way around and getting right on top of him and called Kurt over where he could get a shot and finish him off. We, we had to make something happen here. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see on the first shot or not, but like I said earlier, the wind may have uh, caught it. I don't know, we got a 20, 25 mile an hour wind here. It was completely cross-eyed. Um, 
tried to compensate a little bit but at that range I didn't know exactly what to do we ranged him earlier or later he was at about 275 so I'm guessing he was about 250 but uh, it might have drifted back into him a little bit I'm guessing I got him back a little bit but uh, he was laying to rest over here we kind of put a sneak on him and I had to put another bullet in him but uh, it all worked out he's laying over here we're gonna go take a look at him well here Here's for the magic moment. Well, we uh, just got up on the old boy. He's uh, a North Dakota beauty. Um, takes a long time out here to draw tags. We've talked to a lot of people, met some gentlemen at the gas station this morning. Everybody I know, you know, it's taken seven to 11 years to draw this tag. And, um, you know, we don't have a lot of them, but population out west is pretty good we came out a couple few weeks ago scouted around I'm pretty sure we got pictures of this critter bedded down um, probably by far the best one we found out here the only bad thing is it uh, kind of happened in short order here we've only been out in the field we just got out of the vehicle started walking John spotted them bedded pretty sure it's the same goat but they got up and started milling around we got mixed up with a few other ones and uh, long story short, got a bullet in him. Got a bullet in him. Uh, brand new, first first uh, critter with the new HS seven millimeter. Uh, it did its part. The only thing I did, I probably didn't compensate for a little bullet drift, and uh, we put him down. So uh, now we got to get him taken care of. It's getting warm. Unfortunately, yesterday things were cold, cool. It would have been a nice day, but it's heating up a little bit today. So we're going to get him quartered up and in the cooler so that is it I have got to thank the guy behind the camera dedicate this one to him it's his birthday today the fortunate thing his birthday maybe unfortunate I don't know but I was a lucky one to get the tag but regardless we're gonna celebrate a little bit together JW this one's for you also buddy, nice job, buddy. yeah he's gorgeous Kickers. Kickers. This was hard to see. I, 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 well, I had plenty I, of time to look at them. And he hooks so crazy. Look at the ivory tips. Yeah, they're just crazy, crazy. Good mass. Cutters are crazy good. They hook in. He turns over good. Yeah, he's a beauty. Look at that mane. Yeah. Gorgeous. Awesome, man. Awesome. Yep. All right. Well, now the work begins. Yeah, a little bit. We're not too far, though. This uh, turned out okay. We're not very far from the vehicle usually it don't happen that way but well, we did it we did a circle and then they did a circle and, and, we and, and we're not that far so it'll be good yeah well, that's awesome Well, today is the second day of the North Dakota rifle season. It is Saturday, and I'm down here at the Evergreens with my youngest daughter, Cassidy, and uh, she's pretty excited to get out. Uh, she actually has a, a buck tag this year, so pretty excited to get you a buck. Um, she just finished volleyball last night, and I sat down here last night just to scout for you. I saw a pretty good buck last night, so hopefully he comes out. But uh, we got down here early. It's probably about 11 o'clock, and we'll have a light to about 5.30. Um, it's cool. It's about 30 degrees. We kind of got a rain-snow mix. Wind is out of the west. It's light, but they're kind of calling for on and off snow. Um, we know the bucks are on their feet. They're moving around. I saw a lot of action last night. So we're going to sit here patiently, just kind of watch what happens, and, and uh, hopefully we'll get your first buck. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs>
going down. Yes. Oh my god, it's <laughs> Oh, yeah. You got him. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Oh. Did you hear the hit? I, I, yeah. I did don't know nobody now. But did you, did you feel like you made a good hit on him? Did you see it? I think. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Oh. <laughs> How exciting is that? <laughs> Way to go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, Cassidy just made a great shot on her first ever whitetail. <laughs> it is day two of the North Dakota rifle season. And I sat here last night and this buck came out and he pretty much did the same thing again tonight. He came out of the evergreens looking for does, found a couple, started kind of chasing them a little bit. And he came out to the south and saw those two does and kind of came right to us. And I said, Cassie, just take your time, wait till he turns broadside. And you made a good shot, I could hear it. You hit him hard and he ran into the evergreens. That is so exciting. Congratulations. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. She's not answering. Well, I think he went in right over there. All right, let's go down. Be careful. Got him. <laughs> what can I say? You did it. Congratulations. <laughs> what a beautiful deer and what a beautiful day with the snow down here in the evergreens. Yeah. This is the second day of the North Dakota rifle season. Cassidy is first time out and uh, last year she got her first, uh, well I guess it was two years ago, you got your first doe and uh, this is your first buck. and. You made a great shot on a great deer, and I'm so proud of you. Good job. It was awesome, well deserved. Big old body deer, great rack, and uh, we're gonna have some tenderloins tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is awesome. Congratulations. Um, we got the big one.